everybody. In this video, we're going to be looking at no coders flow. Now, no coders flow is actually something I built using a no code tool called Builder. And no coders flow is essentially a stack overflow type application focusing on no coders or no coding, whatever you want to call it. Tools like Bubble, Adalo, Zapier, Integromat, and so on. So by the end of this video, I hope you get some idea regarding the different logics I created in this page, as well as the way I created my database, and maybe this will inspire you or help you with your own application. So let's get started. Now to start out with, let's first have a look at the application itself, just to get you some idea of how it, is, how it looks like, as well as what is the interactions that are happening on the different pages. So let's first go to well, nocodesflow.com is the website. You can also have a look as well if you'd like to use it. It just launched quite recently, only a few days ago, so I still don't have too much activity, but you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so the key parts of this no coders flow is first of all all posts. So in here you can see all the different posts, the different topics that have been created on this platform. So the different questions or whatever it is, problems that are happening to the different users. And you can also see each topic can also be having a category such as bubble, integromat, sapir. So you can add different categories to each, each of the posts. And also you have a search functionality up here. And the cool thing about this, um, so I, I call it a smart search, is that as you type, it is already searching. And it's also searching by the what's it called by the categories tags so integromat for example and the way it's doing this is that this right here all of this data is already loaded in the grid and that's why that as we type it's already taking the information from the grid so that's pretty cool i really like that part and if you go into a specific topic you now see here this is a specific post this is created by a guy called Matthias. The category is bubble, as you saw. There's a title, there's a description, and then there's also these two parts where you can like the post as well as you can follow the post. And that is what you see over here on the left-hand side. So this, created, this required quite some logic as well, right? Because I had, to check, I had to check how many likes did it get? Did the current person like it? If yes, then show a filled heart. If no, then show that's a bit slow, then show it like this. So right now I just say remove my like. Now I click back on it. Every time I do this, I'm actually creating a record in the database, which I will show you. And then also here, the bookmark, right, or the follow, when I click on this one, is now removed. When I click back on this one, you now see it again. And over here, you can see that I have this one being following, so I can click back on it. And we scroll down here. You can now, you know, create a new answer to this question. And below as well, you can see who have created the different answers and what are the profiles that created these answers as well. And then your post, this is just what are the posts that you have created, which is for me just the hello and welcome. Okay, if you go down here to create post, this is where, you know, you can put a title, and in here, I'm actually searching from a database. So I have a database. So when I add new names to the database, it will be extended with the new names in this search field. So this is also a smart search where you can search like this. And then when you want to, you know, let's do Airtable, you click on it. And now it's an active category that has been attached. And this was actually quite difficult um, to implement with, with Builder. It was not so straightforward to click on a category and then put it up here and I needed actually quite some help from the builder team they even created a video now on how to do it um, which actually came because of my uh, questions so we choose our table let's also do builder and then you know you can do a testing whatever and now click create now I'm generating a new post it takes me to your post and then you see here that there's a new post created and when you click on it, you see it is me who has created it. Now I can also edit it. In this case, I'm just going to delete the post. And now you come back to your post and it's been removed. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of this application. You have all posts. You can see your specific post. Which ones are you following? And then, of course, creating a post when you have a question or you're stuck on some tool. 
I'm just moving my image here. They of course also have, this is my account. So this is my picture, this is my daughter. And then you can also give feedback and of course sign out. Okay, so that was no code as flow. And I think I took a bit longer than expected. So I was planning to build this in three days, but I was also learning builder on the go as I was doing this. So it took me actually closer to eight, nine days and I had a fair amount of help from the builder team. So they're super helpful. Whenever you're stuck, go to the discord channel and they're gonna certainly help you out. Okay, so let's go to builder. So this is the studio or the canvas that you commonly just saw no code flow. So this is where all the logic and everything, let's say all the magic is happening. Now, just one note, why I chose Builder. So I would say most people, they choose Bubble for their applications. And Bubble is by far the biggest one out there, used by a lot of people, and it's definitely an awesome tool. For me, I just prefer Builder, to be honest. So one of the reasons is I think it's much more versatile. It follows more how, let's say, HTML works. So, you know, you have divs, you put stuff inside the divs, and also you have a lot more control over the CSS styling. So it's really like, it's it's pretty much like coding um, quality as well as the, the way the logic is working in terms of like, you know, having classes. Um, it's a bit slow here. It's actually my internet speed. So you can see all the layouts here. You can add your own CSS. So I, that's what I really love about this. You know, you can even just paste CSS or HTML from outside into Builder and it will then convert it into this visual building style like this one's. And that's definitely one of the reasons I love Builder because of this whole control. Also, you can add any type of JavaScript that you want. So you can add, add for example, a, a chart library if you want to make some sort of cool charts. Um, everything is possible. Essentially, if you can code it, you can do it in Builder. That's at least what they keep telling me. Okay, so going back to this one, what is important to mention is that no coders flow is a single page application. And what that means is that everything that is happening is happening within this canvas page right here. So when you actually go from all post to your post, all of this is not happening by going to a new URL and then you fetch the information. It's happening within this page right here. So when you change from all post to your post, you take this container page right now, right here, and you put it inside of this white space. So there's a lot of logic happening behind this. So you have a bunch of flows that is looking for this. So you can see these like um, action, open, create posts, open dashboard, blah, 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 so on. These are all posts that are being put inside of this container. And now the cool part of single page applications is that it is much faster than going to different URLs. It doesn't have to load. And once you open the application for the first time and the information is, is cached, so it's stored, it means that, look at this, it's just much faster to move between pages. So that's why um, this was done. And I used the, what is called the SAS starter package to build no coders flow. The SAS starter package is something you can just take right in here, created by Builder, and it just makes life so much easier because this whole navigation was created by Builder. The signup page was created by Builder. So I took a lot of um, components, a lot of the elements, even the styling from their existing template to speed things up. Okay, cool. So looking down to down here to all post. So you can see here, this is a grid where I'm getting information from a database to display the different posts. And how this works is that if you look inside data collections, I have different, let's call it whatever, databases, data collections. And for this one, it's called, is this one is post. And in here, I have all the different posts which are associated with this list right here. So you have information such as who is the one who created the post. You have how many upvotes, which is the one you see right here. You can also see information such as um, the answers as well as the categor categories. So these are the categories IDs. And what is actually happening is that when this is being loaded, it gets the categories ID and then it makes, it checks another collection and then it gets the name from that collection. And that was actually quite complex. It took quite a long time to get that figured out. 
um, and it required a little bit of JavaScript, um, like a custom function to make this work. And then we have the specific post page. So on this one here, essentially when you click on, um, when you go to a specific page, or specific post, sorry, then you get certain information included on that page, which means that it's very easily um, to get access to, for example, the title of the post, the body of the post, it's really just getting that, um, getting that field so it's really just getting that field from the current post. And then also I can get information like who created the post. And I do this because when you click on the post here, you have this field called created by, and this is automatically for each of the collections that you have. It's just a field that comes automatic by builder. And these IDs here, they're all the IDs um, by the users. So whenever a post is created, we know which user has created this post. And that's how it's very easy to get this information and know, you know, who is the individual that created it. And then below here, we have another collection, which is the ones for, so these are the answers. And where it's done here, it's another collection. And in here, we also, of course, have, we know the individual who created an answer. And the important part here is what, like which post um, is it associated with? So by doing this, we know exactly, we know the logic of saying, okay, this one, these two have um, a certain post ID that is matching this one. So let's show up the information. And also we know who created this answer and thereby we can show the profile um, of the creator. So that's, so again, there's a, there's actually a bunch of logic happening on this page. So if you look at here, these are all the different flows that I've created. Um, actually quite a lot of things are happening when the page is, is loaded or when this page is being binded. You see here, um, a lot of things are being calculated. I'm just, for example, checking um, the upvoted posts. I'm checking the last activity. So I do some different calculations. So even though in theory, this should be quite a simple application, um, there's actually a lot of logic that still goes behind this page, especially. So I can, for example, see four days. I know again, when to show the bookmark, when to show these hard filled or not. And that's actually, if you look back in the database, so I have the, the following as well as the upvotes. And these two, um, for each of these as a record, which then is matched to knowing whether this one is following. So when I unclick this one, now actually a record has been deleted from here. When I click back, is now been you know a new record has been created and we know it's created by my user this one here and we know which you know we know which post id it is associated with okay i'm probably going too fast but um, you know let's let's see how this comes along we are almost there i would say and also the same with the like when i click on this one now actually it removes the record from upvotes it's pretty much like following it's very similar logic and then when you click back here i'm now creating a new record and one thing i'm also doing is that if you click let's look at my posts so if you look at my post i don't see the bookmark or the following because i'm actually checking right i don't want to follow my own post it doesn't make sense since i have my post already here but instead I show another icon, which is an edit icon. So there's logic happening, right? Um, whether what to display, should I display the following, should I display an edit icon? And when I click on this one, I can now change the information as I want. Mm, maybe we just put another one here. So, and it's been created. So or let's say updated actually is the right word. So right now what happened is that I uh, used the ID of the, the post and I was then able to update it um, also because I make sure that only the person um, that is created by is matching the one who's trying to make the request as well. So that is that. Um, that was a specific post and then you get an also an idea with the edit post you see here on the right hand side. 
And then with the create posts, this is just a page like this where you have the different fields. And as I mentioned, these were a bit tricky on how the setup uh, looks like. And then down here we have the the, the rich field. Uh, this is a markdown uh, element, I believe. And then you also have the ability to, to do at the image. And then you can then create a new post. If you want to check out Builder, go to the website. They have plenty of tutorials, videos on how to do different things. They even have a video on how they built this SAS starter package, which again is the backbone of my application as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my first video actually where I did a walkthrough of one of my products. I will be doing plenty of more products in the future. I actually have one already in the idea stage. So hopefully in a few weeks it will be ready to show you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe. And if you have any comments, you know, let me know below, questions, whatever. Um, I will do my best to answer all of them. Again, thank you so much for watching.